To report an incident or hazard, click on the Incident and Hazard Reporting icon located on your Charm dashboard. From the next page, select whether you are reporting a hazard or incident. On the Incident or Hazard Reporting form, there are multiple types of fields that you are required to complete in order to submit the form. Mandatory fields appear with a red circle and a white arrow icon. These fields must be completed before submitting the form. When a drop-down list appears, select the most applicable item from the list. To select a location, click on the magnifying glass icon and use the drop-down list to select the campus. Next, use the second drop-down list to select the building where the incident or hazard occurred. In the free text fields, enter detailed information about the incident or hazard. Once you have completed all questions on the page, click the Next button located at the top of the screen to progress to the next page. The incident or hazard will automatically default to the involved person's direct line manager or supervisor so they can complete the incident investigation and action plan. If you are required to change the person that the incident or hazard is assigned to, Click the magnifying glass icon and use the first name and surname fields to search for a staff member. Once the search results appear, click on the name to pre-populate it into the field. For contractors or visitors, please select your curtain contact or if you're unsure of who to assign this to, please leave the default setting. Continue to answer all questions on the reporting pages until you reach the end of the form. Common frequently asked questions are located in the lower left hand side of the page. To save your incident or hazard as a draft, click on the draft icon at the top of the screen. To retrieve your draft, click on the home icon to go to your Charm dashboard and click on the link located on the left hand side of the page. Once you have reached the end of the incident or hazard report, click on the green Submit button to submit the report. The incident or hazard will be assigned to the person located in the Assigned To field. The Assigned To person will receive an email notifying them that they have been assigned an incident or hazard to manage. Email notifications will also be automatically sent to the safety and health representatives and to the person involved in the incident. For more information on incident and hazard reporting, refer to the Charm Incident and Hazard Quick Guides available on the healthandsafety.curtain.edu.au website. For more information, contact Health and Safety. Email us at healthandsafety@curtain.edu.au at by phone on 9 266 4900 or visit our webpage at healthandsafety.curtain.edu.au.